This video is to help out with the local stratigraphic section exercise. We're going to start with a example here of a drill rig, um, the big truck here with the tower on it. And I want to walk through how the drillers are working and what kind of information they're collecting. Uh, and this is going to follow along with some of the information that you're already providing for in this exercise. So here's um, the drill rig itself. Um, this big blue thing is the auger. That's what uh, attaches to the drill rig and gets screwed down into the ground and then they pull it out. Oftentimes these augers are in five foot increments, but they can be in longer increments as well, depending on what kind of uh, drill rig and what the plan is. So as the drillers work down, they like to think in terms of depth. So they're starting at the surface, the depth is zero, and then they keep track of uh, every foot or so as, as they're drilling down. And that's convenient, but as geologists, we like to think about um, looking at these layers in terms of elevation. And the reason behind that is that um, no matter if, if, once you start drilling multiple holes, the ground surface is always different. So if you always go by depth, then it's a little confusing where exactly you're starting from. So if you convert your measurements from depth into elevation, then they're always, uh, your measurements are always measured uh, relative to some standard, and that standard is sea level. So elevation is always going to be measured in feet above or below sea level. So it's just a common reference point to be able to compare uh, measurements. Okay, so in this exercise, we're going to say that the drill rig is on the surface of the earth, so the depth is zero, but the elevation is 100 feet above sea level. The driller is going to start to drill that auger down into the ground, and they're going to keep track of what the sediment looks like as it's coming up out of the auger flight. And once they encounter uh, a new layer here, so like the bottom of this orange layer, this yellow layer, uh, once they cross through a new material, they're going to stop and they're going to record at what depth did they pass from one layer into the other layer. So in this case, what we'll say is that the bottom of this yellow layer they found at a depth of 20 feet. So they drilled down basically 20 feet from the surface and they lost, they went out of this yellow layer and they went into some new layer. We'll deal with the layer below that later. We know the top of this layer, so if we want to describe what this layer looks like in space, the top of that we know is at 100 feet above sea level. And then the bottom of it, in terms of sea level, we look at the elevation and then we subtract the total depth that they went in order to get to that. So uh, in this case, the bottom of this layer would be at 80 feet. And the way that I figure that out is that you start with the top elevation, you always start with the top elevation, and you subtract what the low, what the depth is of the layer. So this layer, the top of it is at 100 feet above sea level, the bottom of it is at 80 feet above sea level. No matter where you go, no matter what the starting depth of your hole is, if you drill down 100 feet or 90 feet, you should be well within the middle of this yellow layer. Okay, the next question to think about is what is the overall thickness? There are a couple of ways that you can do this. So I'm going to show you one way, um, and it's not necessarily the best way, but uh, it's whatever works for you. So I'm going to stick with elevation. We know the top of this layer is at 100 feet. The bottom of the layer is at um, 80 feet. In order to find thickness, I'm just going to take the difference between those two. So I'm going to subtract 80 from 100 and get a thickness of 20 feet. Right? Again, I'm just going to stick with elevation. So that's how we would describe that layer. Now let's say the drillers keep on drilling down. They encounter a new layer, this gray layer. We know that the top of the gray layer is at 20 feet from the bottom, um, 20 feet down from the top. Or another way to say that is the top of the layer is at 80 feet above sea level. They drill down, 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 and at some point they cross into a new layer. And that layer, uh, the, the bottom of this gray layer, they found at 30 feet of depth. So if we want to communicate the, the elevation of that layer, again, the, what we're going to follow is at 100 feet. We started at 100 feet. We came down 30 feet. So that's 100 minus 30, which is 70 feet. Okay. So the top contact of this, top elevation of this contact or this layer is at 80 feet. The bottom is at 70 feet above sea level. The thickness, again, would be the difference between those two, which in this case would be 10 feet. Okay. 
their day is not done. They're drilling even further down and they encounter this uh, bluish layer. We know that the top of the blue layer is the same as the bottom of this um, gray layer. So the top of it is at 30 feet and they drill down until they hit a depth of 55 feet and they leave that blue layer, they go into some other layer. So we know the top of this layer is at 30 feet down the, down the hole. The bottom of this blue layer is at 55 feet down the hole. If we want to find the bottom elevation of this layer, we're going to take 100 and subtract 55 feet from that, and that's the elevation, and we get 45 feet. So this blue layer, the top of the, the top of the contact is at 70 feet above sea level. The bottom of that uh, blue layer is at 45 feet above sea level. So the thickness in this case would be 70 minus 45, which is 25 feet. So that's a 25 foot layer. So hopefully uh, these three layers are, uh, are, are helpful for being able to see how to figure out what the um, elevation and thickness of all of the, uh, the following layers for that uh, example in your local stratigraphic section exercise. Um, I hope this helps and um, please share your feedback with me about this and uh, whether it's helpful or not and if there's anything else I can do to help. Take care.